Hey, Pierce. I know, right? I got my keys mid-December 2021, and it's already the first week of March, and I haven't fixed anything on my house. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm waiting on building permits. So stay tuned in this video to see how I apply for them, what step in the process I am with them, and what do I do in the meantime? guys i wish i had knowledge that i could dump out about permitting and the process and the purpose and the benefits the cons but I honestly i don't have any of that information all i know is for my journey i need them so i have to get them and with covid going on everything is going a million times slower so Y'all, here is my permitting process. Okay, so once January pretty much ended, start of February, um, we started getting my architectural plans. It took about two weeks for my contractor to get those done and then about a week for me to review them and send him back the things I want changed and him to send me the final version. After that, I submitted the plans to the city requesting a building permit. And I wanna show you guys, um, I thought it was gonna be a longer process for my permitting, but for my city, for the things that I'm doing, cause they're non-structural, as you can see here, um, it should only be five days to turn around my permit. Um, crossing my fingers that it comes back like that. Um, <laughs> And then we can get started. Um, my contractor did give me a little rough timeline. He was saying after we actually get the permits back, um, he needs about two weeks to line things up to get started, to actually like do something. The first thing we want to attack is the roof. Um, and so I'm hopeful that we're going to be starting on my home sooner than I thought, guys. Um, it's just a little scary because... Uh, the pricing for everything has pretty much changed. And my budget, my loan budget is looking very scarce for what I'm trying to do. And that's a little nerve wracking. But you know me, I'm Miss Optimistic, Miss Positive. So I'm gonna try my best to make what I have work um, and make sure I get what I want understanding that I can't get exactly what I want, but I want to be in the ballpark. I'm going to try. If anything, I'm going to try. That's one thing you're going to see me do in my life on this journey. I'm going to mother F and try. <laughs> That's one thing about me. I'm going to try. So we're going to attempt to see if I can get my interior design vision board come to life. If you guys haven't seen that video, here's the link to that video. Be sure to check it out. It's what I want my home to look like. And so we're going to see if on my journey, I can get that to happen on my budget of $152,000. Okay. It seems like a lot of money, but y'all, I'm telling y'all, every time I go look on something for some materials, it don't fit in the budget. It don't fit in the budget. It don't fit in the budget. So we're going to see how this works out. <laughs> and the first thing, talk about money and budget, um, the cost for the building permit isn't in my construction loan. So I had to come out of pocket. I was thinking it was going to be like 2500 at the most. I found this, um, this pricing sheet, but unfortunately, I don't know how to add it up. I don't know how they got the numbers. Y'all, when I tell you this email for the cost of the building permit that came in, when I read this email from the city about how much my building permit is going to cost, my heart, my bottom jaw dropped to the floor, y'all. I don't know how to add this up. I was looking at the pricing sheet. I did not gather it was going to be like this 
much three thousand two hundred and forty two dollars <sighs> y'all I just want to share with you guys so many people might be asking okay P why are you paying for your permit fees out of pocket so here's a recap of my subtotal of all my construction loan so the total repairs were hoping to be 148,000 then I have a reserve about 14 grand that if we don't make it within this 148 that we can dip into here um, there's other fees too so here's the architectural fee and then we only budgeted for a permit fee to be $1,000. So with the city coming back saying it's $3,242, it's over the original amount. Now, I could um, pay for it myself and then submit a change order to my lender and ask for them to pay me back out of the reserve. But at that point, is it really worth it? So I'm just going to choose to pay for this out of pocket so I can save this reserve for other things that are going to pop up. And y'all, they are going to go, they are going to pop up. Okay, they are. They real life are. We already see material prices going up. We're going to see how this whole building permit thing goes. I got a phone call scheduled with the, with the city because I need a breakdown. I need an understanding because I'll be doggone if I literally pay this and then like two months into the project, they come out and say, the city comes out and says, oh, you have it for your roofing and for your electrical, but we didn't account the plumbing. Y'all, I'll be so done. So I need to get on the phone with somebody, understand it all. You feel me? <laughs> and I'm going to report back to y'all. So in the meantime, you guys, we are sitting and waiting for this building permit to come back so we can actually start fixing up stuff. If this email right here don't solidify that I need to sit my little tail down, there is no hot girl summer. Silk Sonic in Vegas, I'm coming for you though. I'm coming for you. <laughs> and to be for real, so what happens now is I need to pay this building permit fee and then I'll get my permit back and then my contractor said two weeks from the permit when we get the actual permit we'll start on the home so i'm hoping that by april 1st some movement will be happening on my home guys that is my prayer all right y'all i'll see y'all next wednesday oh hopefully guys april 1st hey